this is the lesson where we get into the nitty gritty. We do the tough stuff. We get in front of the camera. Now I know that is a scary thought for some of you. Um, you know what? It took me a while to get over that too. So I totally can relate. I have to say though, the sound of my voice kind of bugged me more than how I looked. I mean, my background is photography, so I kind of was used to getting people sort of into being, you know, in front of the camera when I'm shooting my clients. But, you know, as any photographer will probably tell you when the camera's turned on them, it's a little bit of a different story. So, but you know what? You need to get over that fear. If you want to make the authentic connection with your students or your blog readers, it's okay to show a little vulnerability. That makes you human and your blog readers and your students are also human. So don't be afraid of being your authentic self. And a great way to do that is with video. Okay, so in this uh, little lesson, I'm going to, well, actually it's a huge lesson. I'm going to cover the camera stuff, the tips on getting in front of the camera, a few makeup tips, even though I don't wear makeup. Uh, just general stuff about creating face-to-face -face videos for your stuff. All right, well, let's get started. Every lesson, there's lots of content here. Every lesson is broken down into a lot of small steps and I have videos for each section. Now, I just also want you to know that the videos I've created are created with the stuff that I'm teaching you. you. So I'm using the same webcam for this video as I'm showing you how to use in this lesson. So if these videos work for you, then you can say, wow, those will work for my students or blog readers as well. So I just wanted to keep this very real. It's not slick at all. Sometimes uh, the lighting is bad or the audio is bad, but I just want you to keep in the back of your mind is the connection working? If it's working for you, then, you know, with me and you, then it will also work with you and the people watching your videos too. So just bear that in mind as you go through this course. If it's not slick enough for you, you can easily raise the bar by adding lights, getting better camera gear and things like that. And that's down the road for you. But we have to get started somewhere. And I suggest starting with the webcam videos face to face. All right, let's get going. <music> 